For the first time in this class, let's look at a movement that isn't directly tied to the Renaissance. I mean, Mannerism is tied to the Renaissance, but it's the first time we're kind of moving away from some of those ideals. And you tend to see a lot of pieces very similar to this. Now, Mannerism did not pursue the natural study of the figure. To many of the Mannerists, we are at the point where they can really start improving the figure. Not really in Michelangelo's sense, where you start developing musculature, but in other ways. Rather, Mannerism focused on the contrived nature of art production. Now, that's a really fancy way of saying, basically, art is contrived. Art is something that is created from the human mind, and therefore, you can alter it in any number of ways. This is kind of like today looking at the use of Photoshop in photography. It's no longer a photograph that has to be honest, I can now manipulate it. So the same sort of idea. So we'll see ambiguous space, departures from expected conventions or expected ideas, and unique presentations of traditional themes that are trademarks of the Mannerist style. Oftentimes Mannerism is looked at as the late Renaissance, it's tied into those ideas, although we're definitely moving in a different direction when we move into Mannerism.